Hi, this is Paula from Mandala Drive and today I'm going to show you how to make your cones, your painting cones, for making beautiful puffy dots or fine lines. Uh, many of you asked me how I make my fine lines and how I keep my puffy dots so puffy. So let me show you how. So what you are going to need are ball pins, a ruler, plastic sheets, an exacto knife, scissors, tape, and of course some paint. I have these office pockets that I use. I cut them. I cut the success part over here and here. And I cut these in two on this side. And I cut them in four eyeballing more or less for them to be equal rectangles because you are going to be needing rectangles to make your cones. So let me show you. I cut these excess parts that I'm not going to need. Then just eyeballing, I'm going to cut everything in half. From one of these plastic pockets, I can make up to eight cones, which is pretty good in my opinion. Okay, I didn't cut it here. I can cut it any time. Okay, so these are the plastic sheets that you're going to need for your cones. I like this material, this kind of plastic in particular, because it's bending pretty well and it keeps it its shape after making a cone. You want it to keep its shape and not get ruined while using it and squeezing it. So I like these and um, they're pretty cheap. I buy 100 of these at about 7-8 euro. Okay, now let's get to making our cone. I have my rectangle sheet here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab it like this and I'm gonna start rolling it just like that. Hope you can see what's happening here. I'm gonna roll it, keep on rolling. When I get about at this point, I wanna put my pin my ball pin in. This is going to work as a cap for the paint to stay fresh and the cone to work properly. Okay, now we're almost there. I've got my cone formed and now I want to seal it. And to do that, I'm going to start with the point here. Starting at the very top and going like this. Well, I don't always get it properly. Now I want to seal all this external part over here so that no paint gets out and the cone keeps its shape. So I'm going to use tape to do that. Of course. I'm gonna seal my cone. See here, I didn't do a very great job, so I'm gonna go with a little bit more scotch over here. And now all the side up until here. So a little bit more scotch, and I'm just going to roll it like this. We want to seal also this part inside. You see there's the other corner of, I don't know if you're able to see it. We don't want this to be free because paint will get, get in there and you won't be 
able to use the comb properly. So I'm going to try and seal that too. I'm going to squeeze, insert some tape, and hopefully I got it well. Oh, yes. There you go. Everything's sealed. Now, before filling the cone with paint, we want to cut out this excess that will prevent me from sealing the cone properly. So there we have our beautiful cone. And now I'm going to fill it with my Cadence paint. It's a Turkish make. I like it. It's very good for puffy dots. I didn't expect to have such a nice surprise, but its consistency is just perfect and it stays as you put it on your canvas or on your painting surface. So unlike dotting paint that has to be mm, thinned with pouring medium, I don't need to thin this. And I'm going to get my perfect dot. See, it keeps its peak, but not too much. It's going back in. And that's what you want from paint when you're painting with cones. You want it to go back in your puffy dots. Unless, of course, you want to have peaks on them. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so now let's get into the filling. I'm going to fill my cone up until here, more or less, because when I'll squeeze it like this, in order to close it, as you can see, it becomes very thin. And I don't want paint to get all over. So I'm going to get some paint in here. Just like that. I'm just eyeballing here. This is all experience. And now I want to get all this air out. Hopefully everything is going to come out. I doubt it, but I shall try. You don't want air to stay in there because it could ruin the piece you're painting on. Okay. I think I've got most of it out and now we can get into the sealing of this cone. For that I'm just gonna grab here, squeeze, fold it like this once and twice. And there we have it. Now I'm going to seal it, keep this in place and seal also these sides because when you squeeze and you're using your cone and you squeeze, some paint might actually get out. You don't want that to happen. So you want to seal also the sides here and also this one. There. There you go. And now we've got a perfect cone ready to paint. Let's try it. But before trying it, I'm going to put some paint on my damp cloth. Sometimes the pressure that creates when you close the cone might make the paint just explode outside. See? Some paint is getting out here. Okay, so I had a little bit of pressure in there and I don't want that to happen on the piece that I'm painting on. So now you can make your puffy dots. Mm. You can walk the dots. Or 
you can write and sign your pieces with a comb. Make nice lines. and shapes that otherwise you wouldn't be able to make. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will be seeing you next time for more dotting tips. Bye!